missions, but it's an official like update for certain certain mode. They're not fan missions. Another fan in general of this uh, like of stealth games, but uh, I actually like Thief a lot, and I'll try to explain why um, when I play. So let us start. Um, I have been playing on expert because even though I'm not really good at the game, like I'm not great at the game, and I enjoy the challenge, so I think expert is the way to go. This time we start with the training just um, you know for the uh, sake of flavor. Kid. No parents, no home. Running messages and picking pockets to keep my ribs from meeting my spine. One night I saw a man. Folks just passed him by like he wasn't there. I thought he must have something valuable, so I snuck up on him and made a grab. That's not for you. Please, sir, I'm hungry. Don't tell the hammers, I promise. What is your name, boy? Garrett. You have talent, lad. Let go of me, old man! To see a keeper is not an easy thing. Especially one who does not wish to be seen. We have a need for those as gifted as yourself. If you've grown tired of how you live, then follow me, and we will show you a different way. Leave me alone! As you wish. I caught up with him just before he vanished into the crowd. It was the beginning of a very long education. By rooms, I will instruct you in the various skills you will need to survive. Please stay in the entrance area to each room while I explain the room's purpose. When you are ready to begin your lessons, proceed down this hallway to the first room. I installed a high definition mod uh, for the textures, um, which is really nice, um, I think. It tries to keep with the original style, but uh, uh, all the textures are a lot better quality, obviously, than in the original game. Now, the funny thing about... Uh, there are a couple of interesting things in this uh, uh, tutorial mission. One of them is, like, mm, this, this corridor here on the, um, on the first floor. Oh, th this one. You would, you would think it would lead to the next room, uh, about which the keeper has, uh, has spoken, but uh, when you actually follow him, it turns out like, it goes in a loop. I... I don't know why it is even in the game, because there is absolutely no purpose to it, and it doesn't seem to make any sense. As you can see, I came out uh, the other way. It's, it's basically um, going in a loop, and the guy uh, is also going in a loop. So, it's like crazy. <laughs> a little crazy. Mm, yeah, but let us proceed to the next room. It's actually like a different guy. It's, uh, uh, this guy is going in a circle. You, would think you must learn how to move unseen. Stay in the shadows. Avoid the light. The indicator on your screen will tell you how visible you are. Try to reach the top of the platform without being seen. You would think he'd come up somewhere over here, but no, instead he's just like going in a circle and there's a second guy here. So yeah, that's one of the more obvious mechanics of Thief is staying in the shadows, because um, you're a thief, obviously, uh, so you must avoid... 
avoid being seen. Well done. I did not see you approach. Open this door to continue. When the door is near the center of your screen, it will light up, indicating that it is selected. To manipulate selected doors and other objects, use them. Now, the map in Thief is uh, like another cool thing because uh, one is it's not like a classical mini map, uh, rather it's a it's a map that seems uh, like an actual item that can exist in the world of the game. It's a drawn map, um, as in as if it was as if it was drawn by a character in the game, and also it doesn't tell you your exact position. It only tells me I am somewhere in this uh, area, but I have to orientate myself using the terrain to better understand where I am. Obviously, in this mission, it isn't important because it's just a series of hallways, but you will see in the next ones um, that it can get quite complicated. But I like the I like basically that the game doesn't treat me like an, like I'm a, like I'm an idiot. Good. Proceed down this corridor for your next test. Now you must learn to move quietly. Some surfaces are louder than others when walked upon, and moving quickly makes more noise than moving slowly. Listen to your own footsteps to hear how much noise you are making. The instructor will have his back turned. You must get to the top of the platform without being heard. Now, an interesting thing about the sound mechanics of Thief is that, for some reason, you are nearly uh, like uh, you are nearly silent when moving on grass, but very good. I did not hear you traverse the room. Beyond this door is a hallway that will lead you to your next task. You're nearly silent when moving on grass, but you are really loud when stepping on things like marble. When in reality, I think, uh, like grass would be really difficult to move sneakily on because. Um, it crunches when you step on it and whatever. And marble, like you could, you could, um, you could move really uh, silently on marble, provided you don't have um, hard shoes, like uh, hard uh, shoelaces, like um, riveted or something. If you had like cloth shoes or um, some with um, with a soft material, I don't think you would be heard on marble at all. Now get your weapons. To pick up objects, select them by centering them on screen until they light up. Then use them. Choose your weapon now. Try readying your sword and then your bow. You can always put them away again if you need your hands free. Now let's go out to the courtyard for some target practice. Ready your bow. Knock an arrow and draw back the string by holding down the attack button. Make sure you draw all the way back or your shot will not have full power. Take aim and when you are ready to shoot, release your attack. See if you can hit one of these targets. Good shot. Keep practicing if you wish. When you are ready to proceed, approach the training dummy and ready your sword. Now a cool thing is that in the Thief, you can actually retrieve most of your arrows after you've shot them. Obviously not the ones you've shot into the enemy, but um, it's really useful with some of the specialized arrows, like the rope arrow, which you will see later in the game. Swing at the target with the attack button. A quick tap will give you a slash. Move the tip of your sword to the left of the target for a left slash, and to the right of the target for a right slash. Hold the attack button down, then release for an overhead swing. Try both slashes and the overhead swing on the practice dummy. Good job, you're ready for a live opponent. To practice against your partner, enter the cobbled sparring area. Now, there is actually a secret room here which you can access by going over here. Oh, but it's locked with a key, so I will need to... I forgot about that. I will need to return in a, in a moment, after the key appears. So here you spar with the guard. Sparring if you wish. When you are done, leave the sparring area. That's enough sparring for today. Please walk over to the table. Would you care for some refreshment before we move on, young Garrett? So Please pick up all of the items on this table. Cycle through your inventory to see the objects you have in your pockets. Once an object is displayed, you may use it. 
Have something to eat if you wish. Then you may proceed. The next test is waiting on the other side of the metal door. The door is locked, but the key from the table will open it. To unlock the door, select the key in your inventory. Center the door on screen until it lights up. Then use the key on the door. You need to go really quickly because later the grate falls down here and you can, can't enter this area anymore. But basically you use the key on this door here and voila, you've got yourself a, a basketball court basically. Uh, you can throw the basketball. Oh, I actually <laughs> scored a point here. Uh, it has a really funny bouncy quality to it it's actually quite fun to throw it uh, so that's like um, one um, one portion of the easter egg another is a, um, another is a, a quote uh, log from the team of the of the dark project the quotes aren't really anything to write home about they aren't like hilarious or anything, but I think it's still a, a nice touch or a nice uh, easter egg to find uh, if you're a person who enjoys finding secrets in a game. Quotes are really, really random, and I don't, I don't really understand the context of half of them. But I don't think uh, there's much point to them besides, you know, being a funny Easter egg. <laughs> Guns don't kill people; slay events kill people, which is. Probably a reference to some coding, uh, like in a game. I don't know because I'm not familiar with how the Thief engine works. There's quite a lot of them actually. Um, the, co the quotes. Team bananas will be kept in my office uh, until they ripen so that Mike doesn't eat them. Thank you, the management. Well, there are no leaking attacks in this game. Where well, there aren't really, so. Wow, I didn't even remember there are so many of the quotes. Anyway, the, another funny thing is that the, you would think it's a scroll, but it's actually like written on a petrol. Uh, you can see on the item name. The I don't know if it has any significance, if it's like an inside joke or anything, but whatever. Yeah, so we can leave the basketball court now. I'll bring the ball with me just for some added fun. the plate uh, closes down after a while so you won't be able to enter this area anymore mm, okay so let me good now head down this hallway to get to your next test now you will learn new movement skills first Climb the rope by jumping onto it. Move while looking up or down to climb up or down the rope. Turn to change your facing. If you jump again, you will release the rope. Now climb the rope to get to the top of the platform. Well done. Run and jump across the gap to the other side of the stream. Good jump. This obstacle is easy to climb if you know how. First, move close to the wall. Next, jump to grab the edge of the wall and pull yourself up. Good job. I am most pleased with your progress. You have passed the last test for today. If you wish, you may stay to practice your climbing and jumping, or swimming, ducking, leaning, or crawling. When you are finished, 
You may return to your chambers by going through that red door. Farewell. Now you can actually steal a piece of uh, of equipment here, this vase over there, and it carries over to the next level, giving you additional gold, which is... Uh, the Keepers were training me to be one of them, trick. but I found other uses for those skills. Bye.